we have to be in the forefront of the research, innovation and production from the cutting edge technology in the chip production. It's about uh, millions and millions of small pieces, transistors, which are the basics of electronics. What they are using for? In our day-to-day -day life, almost everything. You cannot actually uh, find one small object you are using in your daily life without a, a chip. Smartphones, home appliances, cars. Because the increase of demand, back 10, 5, 15 years ago, how many chips in a normal car, in a average car? One, five, ten. Now, an electric car, 3,000 chips. Our uh, consumption of chips, it's important in the European Union. We are not able to produce uh, chips uh, not even close uh, to, the, to what is our needs. And that's why uh, we have this new strategy to bring uh, foreign investors to invest, uh, to invest in the European Union and to be able to increase the, the chips production. If the chips are produced in Europe, then you can be sure that whatever will happen in this world, you'll be able to have your day-to-day -day life as usual. Because otherwise, we'll be exposed to all international crises. So lesson learned after the war in Ukraine is that we have to be sure that we have a certain level of the critical um, the needs uh, uh, ensure of, uh, of the EU production. And we have to shorten the, wo the world uh, the production chains. We have a clear framework of what you will find if you want to invest in the chips uh, in the European Union. If you qualify for a state aid, you'll get it, you'll get it fast, and you'll get it when you need it. That's why we're happy to have this uh, the CHIPS Act in place as soon as possible to be able to provide the necessary support for the investors and to show them. Investing in Europe, it is a friendly environment and we are very much welcome to do that.